What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking to you about the safest way to bot in RuneScape. Um, this is coming at you from experience because I actually had my original account banned for two violations of botting, which were completely valid. I was, and I wasn't, I wasn't smart about it. I got one violation, and then I started to try some new techniques to see if it could, you know, uh, get around RuneScape's botting detection, but it did not work, and I've learned a lot since then. So I'm making this video for everyone so that the same doesn't happen to you. I did get two violations, meaning that if you get the first one, I would probably use alternate accounts. Now, this account was made a year and a half ago during a Christmas event. Uh, there was an advent calendar, and I popped on and got all the protein items and boosted up mining and smithing so that I could use it as an alternate account to get coal um, and all that. So this can be considered an alternate account, and I'm going to be showing you free-to-play methods since um, I don't really have the stats, the F2P stats necessary for high cash flow um, mining methods. I'm going to be showing you F2P low-level methods just for to get a feel for the Murgos software that I showed in my first video. And for pretty low-key um, off-the-radar methods so that you don't have anybody reporting you, which I didn't get banned because I got reported. Um, I was smart. I actually found a way to respond using, you know, just a hi or whatever, whenever a character would say hello in chat. Um, so somebody reporting you actually isn't the main reason why you'll get banned using this software. It's when you repeatedly use the same keystrokes with the same time intervals um, over a long period of time. They first flag you um, without you knowing it, and then they have somebody come in and watch and identify that you actually are you know, using a third-party software to develop your skills. So I'm going to be showing you the best way to not have that happen to you. Um, or, you know, so that you don't get flagged initially. Because if you get flagged, then somebody's coming over. Um, and it's basically either your first violation or game over at that point. And as in the case of my first account, um, it was pre-2010 account with no trade cap. And it was a pretty heavy loss, but hopefully that doesn't happen to you. So I'm going to be showing you a woodcutting method as an example for the easiest way not to get caught. I'm here, um, pretty low key area. There is, you know, a rune crafting altar right next to me, but I'm on an F2P world with about 40 to 50 people. You're, you might run into two to three people over the course of three to four hours, and none of them are going to be trying to talk. And if they do, more than likely they're just noobs because this is a noob area because I'm a noob. And they see that I'm a noob so they probably will bypass you anyway. So you won't get any player interference. Now let's jump into the method. So if you watched my first video, you know about Merga software for Macs. Um, and it's the best software to use by far. So the key that I've found, if you don't want to get banned, is to develop longer keystroke programs. So initially, I would create a alchemy program, and you know, I just do one loop. I would click on the banker. I'd go hit my hot strokes. I'd alchemy everything, and then I'd click on the banker again and I would stop program, meaning that I was consistently going over the same keystrokes every 30 seconds, which is an easy flag, and that's how I got my first um, ban, or my first violation. Then I 
switched it up. I did longer ones, but not too long, maybe 30 minute programs. And I still used, I still used like same time intervals. You know, I would check on it every five hours or so, which is still, um, a decent time gap. And I, I think I got reported because I was, I was doing it in the GE because you have the banker and the grand exchange guy right there. So you can constantly pick up coal and runite ore or whatever. So this is the best method or the best way to not get banned. So I'm going to start off by, I'm standing in this particular spot because these mushrooms mark where you're going to end your program. You need a place to start and end your program um, because keystrokes is not, it just records what you're doing. So when you start it over, you need to be in the same starting spot or else it's not going to be, do the exact same thing over again. Um, I have my compass pointed true north. I have the camera all the way up. I don't need this backpack in the way. So you can stretch it wherever. Everything else is minimized. I have my recorder peaking. Um, yeah, you know why if you watch the first video. And then I'm going to start recording. And I'm going to hit the evergreen tree. So I started off by hitting this first evergreen tree on my right. Actually, you know what? Let me stop that because that's, that's actually not a smart idea. Go back. I'm going to start again. I'm going to leave my cursor right on my person just so that there's no error. I'm going to move over to this evergreen tree. And I'm going to click on this one. So right now I'm a noob, which means that the time it takes for me to cut these trees varies. But if you know, if you know, if you have 50 woodcutter, this is an average tree. Um, you'll hack through it in uh, basically no time at all. And it'll be the same no time at all with, with very little um, deviation. So I'm going to go in a circle. Yeah, you can see how noob I am right now. I'm going to go around the altar. These evergreens have a pretty large click box, meaning that if you were to move your camera slightly, you're probably still going to be selecting them. If you look on the left, my keystrokes are going up 922 right now. And as I move my mouse, they're increasing. It's recording this whole thing. See, this is taking a lot longer. And obviously, those trees that I did initially took less time. And when you play the program again, the odds are that one of those trees is going to take longer. But that just means that you're going to miss the tree. And that's nothing to be worried about because you're going over a long period of time. And you're going to miss a couple logs. But that's, you're not trying to get you know, total efficiency. So I'm going to, you know, I, I'm giving it a few seconds after I cut down the tree, just in case, you know, later on down the road, I need those few seconds for that exact tree. So there's no need to worry about her pathing. See, she ran all the way around there because it's going to be the same when you restart it. So that took a little long. And those trees that I cut in the very beginning are gonna be there still. Or they're gonna they're gonna be regrown by the time I get back. So there's that mushroom right there. Now I'm not I'm not gonna go there yet simply because I wanna get a full inventory in order to maximize. My profit. It's taking a little while. It's actually it might be easier if it takes too long while you're creating your program, then just move on. Because odds are that it'll take less time in your hundreds of programs later. 
and so it'll actually make it more efficient to move on. So right here, I want to move back, but I don't have a tree that I can click on, and I don't want to move my camera. So I'm going to click one tile to the left of that tree, as I saw it on that map at that time. Now, these raccoons right here, i got to continue this. All the little furry animals, they're, they're non-interactive when you click on them, which is why this is a decent spot. So now I'm going to hit this craft log button. I actually messed up because that specific log in my inventory may not be there. I might have missed a log, which means I would be clicking nothing. So ideally, I would have this on a hotkey. But you can click the very first inventory slot, which would have, oh, I actually messed up again. You know why? Because this very, actually, no. Actually, no. Wow. Because I can, once I finish this recording, I can move the arrow shafts to a different inventory space, and it'll be fine. So you continue making arrow shafts. All the way through. Yippee, I'm such a noob. And you're done. So now I'm going to end the recording. Now that's just one loop right there. I'm going to move these down. Meaning that when I start the recording, I'm going to start it right now. You see, I'm not touching the keyboard. You see the keystrokes on your left. When I start the recording, it's going to do everything that I did up until I come back to that exact same spot on the mushrooms. You see I missed a tree right there. That's simply because it took longer than it did in my first run. So if you're trying not to get a flag for, you know, botting, what you would do is instead of ending the recording where I did, you would do another run. You might even do another one after that because this, these keystrokes are going to be the same no matter how long the recording is. So there's, there's more room for, a little bit more room for error, but if you do it right, that shouldn't be an issue. So my character is going to go along and when she finishes, you'll see all the little points that I messed up, but I'm going to stop it right here. So that's a method for getting logs in a decent area with low people and a low, or low population. Um, and each of these buddies right here sells for 8 GP each. Log sells for 358 you get 15 shafts per log so you're going to you're going to loot you're going to get about half your money back if you just sell these but you're going to most more than likely you're going to be doing this for the experience not the money although you do get money which is why it's still a money method it's just not very efficient so i'm going to make another one on mining which is more my specialty um, you know, I find this spot. I just looked on the map and looked for a bunch of trees where they could be regrown before you reach the beginning of your loop. So, if you want me to make any other method, uh, F2P method, um, even if it's a higher level, I can skill up that fast. I can skill up pretty fast and get to it. Just leave it in the comments below. Um, I don't see all.